Yes, on your home mortgage, you can count on First Federal. First Federal specializes in all types of home financing and mortgage lending. Well, the quarterback has sent three wide receivers out to the near side, one to the far side, takes a snap, a quick out pass to the near side, comes around the corner across the 20 and down about the 22 yard line. A little bubble pass out to the, the receiver number nine for Butler County, Reggie Smith, their leading receiver so far this season. TJ Covington made a nice stop for Coffeyville out of his corner position. Well, that's two yards on the play, so it'll be second down at eight yards to go again first federal they're helping families just like yours build their dreams in southeast kansas since 1905 employees always take time to answer your questions and help you through the process of purchasing a home first federal savings alone one of the fine sponsors of red raven football right here on sports radio 690 kgbf again now this time it's a handoff right up the center and looks like the uh, that's going to be a stop by the oh my goodness. Goodness. lance that was a humongous hit by number four to sean goldson and he was pumped up about that one. And it's my goodness. That was a huge hit. The ball made it up to the 25-yard line, so there's a two-yard gain for the Grizzlies. It'll be third down and about five yards to go now with the ball on the 25. And again tonight, the uh, quarterback for the Grizzlies... Uh, Chad Wilmot. Chad Wilmot, there we go. I knew I was going to yeah, find that sooner or later. Papers everywhere and just <laughs> here we don't have much room up here. So. <laughs> Wilmot in a interested. shotgun formation. He's going to have to burn a timeout here early, and Butler County cannot be happy at that. Oh, that's great. Uh, the pressure as well as uh, getting the, the Grizzly offense all mixed up and not realizing or not uh, being able to uh, get the plays off. And they'll have to burn a timeout almost immediately. 13:40 left here in the first period of the ball game. Again, no score as this is the uh, Butler County Grizzlies and the Coffeyville Red Ravens in El Dorado, Kansas. Well, Property Credit Union at 1313 West 9th Street in Coffeyville, Kansas, has been serving their members since 1937 with free checking, savings accounts, and loans. Come on in and join Cooperative Credit Union, insured up to $100,000 by NCUA, a U.S. government agency. Again, Cooperative Credit Union, also another fine sponsor of Red Raven Football, right here on Sports Radio 690 KGGF. In here early, this is a big feeling out process for the Red Raven defense. Third down and five. This is the first big test for the Coffeyville defense, and it's going to be early in this ball game. And you'll most likely see a pass or maybe a screenplay here out of Wilmot in the Butler County offense. Well, he's going to be in the shotgun formation. Three wide receivers to the near side. Again, Chad Wilmot, the quarterback for the Grizzlies. And we're on the 25-yard line. Snap of the ball, looking over the near side. Hasn't found anybody yet. Finally, he does, but it's going to be a low pass. Hits the deck, and finally, uh, right into the uh, hands of the intended receiver, but it already hit the deck, yeah. and it was an incomplete pass. Intended for Jimmy Jimmy Beard, the third, their third leading receiver for Butler County. All, re, all the receivers are about even. They spread the ball out pretty well. But that was a great job. Good cover by, by Deshaun Goldson, and that's a play that worked pretty well last week against Jordan City. Just all slants. Nobody was open. Great coverage by the Red Raven defense. And it brings up fourth down and about four yards to go for the Grizzlies, so they'll kick it away. Lee and Baker back to return. Right at the 35-yard line, here comes the kick. It's going to be a high end over end, plenty of time. And Lee Baker's going to let it fit and rolls down the field. And finally picks it up at about the 33-yard line, but he's going to carry it back and hit it again. Looks like he all the way back to the 27-yard line. They'll mark it up to about the 30. Looks like they, they're going to say that he had possession at the 30-yard line, and that's where he put his knee down. So they'll mark it at the 30. They'll be first and 10 for Coffeeville on their own 30-yard line. Not sure. That's a tough play by Lee Baker. He should have maybe just let that go and, and let him down the ball. Baker decided to pick it up, and there was five Butler County Grizzlies right in his face when he picked the ball up. Well, and of course, the uh, the kick itself, when it hit the ground, it was rolling in favor of the Grizzlies. Mm -hmm. And Lee Baker actually let it go for just a minute, but then decided to go ahead and uh, pick it up and try to do something with it. But in the process, now the ball is at the 30-yard line, first and 10 for the Red Ravens on their first offensive series of the night. Two wide receivers, right and left, two in the backfield in the eye formation, fishing on the center. He's uh, looking around and uh, looks like it a delay of game. Is that right? A delay of game, I believe. My goodness, so five-yard penalty for the Red Ravens. That'll bring him back to the 25-yard line. And we'll go ahead and give you some starters for the Red Raven offense. Adam Fisher is a quarterback, number seven. Robert Harris, the fullback for the Red Ravens.